We've been waiting for parts and today we got them. We actually just got the rest of the interior pieces for the Ferrari. So by the end of this video, you're gonna sit back and relax and you're gonna see a finished interior of the Ferrari 458. This is my sign. You're like a sign boy on the I'm side of the street. You're flipping it, you're tossing it. it. Teach. Except please don't it's drop our sign. This is clearly where the vent goes, right here. You see that vent over there? That's where that goes. The new dash piece. And on the other side. Whoa, weird. When did that get there? <laughs> It's a door. So basically, the goal today is to put the interior back and sit in the car and pretend the car drives. Pretend we're going outside with the car that doesn't have cooling fluid yet. That's next time. Ooh, it smells good. I'm gonna say this. Smell like fresh, fresh, like fresh lather. Fresh pants. You just bought. They only replaced. Oh, don't smell it. That. You know. Whoa. <laughs> this is one of those times where I wish you guys could smell. You can see it, but you can't smell it. And the only exciting portion about it is really the smell. When we got the car, this was actually, if you guys do not remember, was split right down the middle, right here. and had a flap going this way and a flap going this way. This airbag goes beneath this dash panel. So we will be installing this airbag today. Don't wanna drop it, it's like a bomb. And this is pretty much where a majority of the ugliness comes from our interior right now, but boys, oh my gosh. It's like a brand new Ferrari. So one of the reasons why I got this uh, refurbished and remade was because of this stitching. The white on black is a less common upgrade from Ferrari and sourcing a used one would have just been too hard. So we got these replaced right when we got the car, which one of the first things that we did was send this off to get fixed up and they're back. So enough stalling, let's bring the interior back. The left hand side is actually already complete. Now we have to rebuild the right hand side. The first things first, we're gonna put back this mirror. Once the mirror goes in, then we can actually put on the main door card and then we can put on the middle piece. Ever since we did the wiring, things started working, right Teej? Yeah, it was a, uh, I briefly mentioned that the lift kit now works and the start button works, which is crazy. It's crazy how just putting grounds to the, I mean, that's my guess. It has to have no, been has, like that's what I was all the say. grounds that we were missing. It just kind of completed the circuit and fix some of the stuff that we were initially kind of concerned about. Something off camera that you guys do not know is uh, some of the pieces we were not able to get used from exotic auto recycling. Shout out to you, Ryan. They've been a huge help. But some of the pieces we couldn't get from them just because they simply just didn't exist in their in their possession at the time. So I actually called up Ferrari San Diego. I ordered some new bushings. We have those on the way and some miscellaneous stuff. But I also mentioned, hey, you know, I bought a wrecked Ferrari. I rebuilt it myself with, you know, under this garage. And I was like, my car has a bunch of codes and I need some help. And they actually said yeah just come on down and uh we'll help you out he's like i don't know how much it will cost you if it will cost you anything but calv it's pretty cool when we get this thing up and running we can drive down to lo the local ferrari dealership and oh God. they're gonna try and tap into it for us which would be pretty cool anyways i digress calv you need me to help hold that mirror correct correct i want to take a moment to say thank you to emanuel online they're a website that allows you to download manuals and pdf schematics for pretty much every car out there they even have it for the 458 which has been a big help this project because there's not that much information about 458 and just Ferraris in general online and using eManual online I've been able to download pretty much a full manual on this car to figure out how to take everything apart and put it back together. Calvin and I were using this diagram here to diagnose the harness when Calvin was putting it back together and there's literally thousands and thousands of pages of everything in here that are making this build just that much easier to do and most manuals are only 20 bucks to download but right now if you use my code you can save some money on those so be sure to check it out I will link it down below. Huge thank you to Emanuel Online for not only showing me this account, but by giving you guys the opportunity to save some money yourselves. So when you're looking at this, this is the door and what's in here, what destroyed it was this airbag. This is a very important part because this will prevent TJ from dying. Another accident were to or happen. In. you from dying, but yes, this death, will prevent, death will be prevented. This will prevent death by TJ or myself when driving this 458. So I'm going to take very careful time and probably do a similar technique in painting these. Indicate whether the screw rotated because if this is loose and it goes off it's a bad meme but i think this is really cool that you're able to take it's modular to take this out in its brackets and put it back in
It's cool and all to see the front bumper, fenders, and the hood coming together, but in reality, to me, the interior is the best part because this is what you're gonna be sitting in and it's beginning to come together. Ooh, it looks like a Ferrari again, Teach. I know I keep saying that, but it looks like a Ferrari, Teach. So while Calvin's finishing out the rest of that front door, which is literally just like two more bolts, I've kind of started laying out the rest of the pieces in which we need to start putting back together. So one of the most intimidating things, in my opinion, is not the fact that we have to put back that front dash piece. That's, in my opinion, gonna be pretty easy, but it's gonna be putting together this glove box because I remember the first day we got this car, we tried to get to the battery. We had to take apart a bunch of stuff to get to it, and one of those parts was getting this glove box off, and this is like the front main compartment of the glove box. Calvin says he remembers how he did that. I myself have no recollection of what we did or how we did it, but there's a lot of hardware for it, which in my eyes is gonna be the most intimidating thing. Some hardware laid out that we have labeled that we can get after it soon. And also, these are all the necessary clips that are missing from the right-hand side of the front harness that you guys saw us fix a couple days ago. So we're making really good progress on getting, on getting it back together. This is like literally maybe 10 or 15 minutes worth of soldering. Making really good progress on all this stuff. Now, other than all these pieces, the rest of the things that we need are all this, the new parts from Ferrari, which to my knowledge, they should be here sometime this week. So we're really, really moving along and we are right on schedule. Here's the underside of our dash piece and there is our new airbag. So I've already kind of sussed it out from last time and I know that this is the part that goes facing down in the car. This faces the airbag so it goes somewhere like, nope, just like that. The holes are lined up just perfectly. Let's go ahead and install that. We're going to be putting in the front dash piece. This is gonna be scary because it's very heavy and there's a lot of like holes to line up to and it's gonna be very difficult for us to film. So I'm going to put the camera right down here and try to show you guys when I can. Wish us luck. So it would have been nice to have this out for this, but. Oh, I could use the mirror. I can actually film off of that. I don't know what I'm looking for. Before we get into it, come on, Teach, hit Chris in the door with its last piece. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a heavy door. That's a good thud, dude. That's a good. Oh, oh man, that sounds so good. Job done, door. Door complete. Doors complete. Um, did I plug in those mirrors? Pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I did. It's okay. One, only one way to find out is by adjusting them. Now that the front dash piece is in, Calvin is going to put in this front speaker. Because he's the only one who can fit all the way up here as well as he does. Notice his method of hugging the dash and putting his head all the way up into the glass so he can get just enough clearance to put the speaker back in. Plugging in the things, Please. and go. action. Plugging in my things. There's a plug here. There's a plug also right here. I don't know what they do, but they're getting plugged in regardless of what they do. I wish I could help you here, mate, but there ain't room for, for two of us. It's a small car. Looking at it, it seemed physically impossible, but we just had to rotate it and scoop it in so that the, whatever those legs, appendages back there, the things we screw into, we could make it. Essentially what Calvin is trying to say is to put back the main upper portion of the glove box. It's kind of confusing because you have to dodge around the DVD player and all the wiring and the harness for the airbag, etc., etc. A lot of this interior piece is putting it back together is like staring at it for like 30 minutes and try to figure out how we do it, but we're slowly getting there. The next step is to put four bolts into the bottom of this. TJ had to wrangle up the Dogies to find them because when we got the car the shipping guy tried to get to the glove box because that's where he thought that's where the fuses are so he tried to get to that but in doing so he didn't know that there was a secret Ferrari way to get into the glove box when the battery isn't working so he tried to attempt to remove the glove box and when we got the car it was totally apart when I first opened was able to open it it just whoop, hit the floor we don't know where the hardware is TJ found some, done deal. It seems kind of weird how to put it in though. The, whoa, wait, wait, wait. That doesn't, that's not right. I mean, you like see it. Whoever's in there, TJ. They gotta press the button. Press the button. Fucking retard, it's not in there. It's not in there. You have it. I don't have it. 
You have it. Give me the screwdriver. Give me the screwdriver. You're the last one to use it. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't, you got out to find something. No, I didn't. How are we losing tools in this cabin? There's nothing in here. The last part of today's build is putting the seatbelt back in. And when the seatbelts are in, the interior is done and it can be driven safely. There's a bolt here and you see this notch? There's a respective piece that goes into that notch and it just pops in, you put in the screw. What I learned from doing my 240, you have to pull on it really hard and it might disengage the lock because they're slack. Ooh, yeah. you see that? You see that teach? <laughs> I was like, oh, that's not gonna work. It's not working. Please work. I'm on camera. But it works. So you pull really hard to reduce the slack that's in it because that prevents it from disengaging. So you pull really hard and you pull it back and then it comes out. About four hours have passed. A lot have small clips. Have... Hey, hey, is that a, is that a Ferrari? Hey, hey, excuse me. Is that a Ferrari, sir? Excuse me. Is that a... Is that a Ferrari? Excuse me, sir. Can it I? It looks like a Ferrari. This looks like a Ferrari. Does, is this a Ferrari? It doesn't look like. It's a Ferrari, it's a sir. Fer oh, okay. It's, it's a Ferrari. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. So, oh, sorry. Right. So, right. right. Oh, right. see, see oh. you, dude. So, literally, just like that, boys, we have built back the interior to be 100%. Now, I'm going to leave this battery compartment still open and looking kind of gross just because I'm still going to be coming down here and disconnecting the battery every single day just because Ferrari batteries get smoked when you just leave them and let them sit. And we do not want that to happen to this car. If it was still sunny out and there was daylight, I could show you everything, but this whole entire panel is back. Our steering wheel airbag is back. Our, our cubby is back. Our dash panel is back on a whole other side has been replaced. And we even have our Silverstone seat belts. Ooh. And this goes underneath there, but it's all coming together, boys. The interior is 100% rebuilt and back to normal. The smell of leather is actually enhanced now because of the new dash panel piece, so I'm super excited about that. And that concludes the timeline for this video. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. We are, my guess, maybe a week out, assuming all of our pieces come in for getting this car back on the road. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.